Welcome to the Optimal Workshop demo for card sorting. I had this on my heart and I wanted to share it with you guys because one of the things that we get trapped into when we're students is that we work on very, very small navigational wise um, websites. You know, you might have five pages in it, maybe eight. But when you get out into the real world, you kind of get lost when you have a page, a website that is much more complicated. So I wanted to show you card sorting today and the kind of um, user testing that goes into it because it's going to be helpful to you down the road. So let's dive in. Make sure that you have the food underscore list dot txt file open. I have mine open in just a simple text editor. This is actually Sublime Text. When you open this, you will see 17 different types of foods, all that, um, that are listed in there. So just put that off to the side because we're going to need it in just a little bit. It'll save you a little bit of typing. Now, go into your OptimalWorkshop.com account. You've already created it, and please, please, please do the free trial. We're not going to use this very often, okay? Do the free trial. Now, from this screen, what I would like you to do is to come down to the lower right-hand corner and click Create Study. The study type. So we want this to be a card sorting exercise. So come down to Optimal Sort Card Sorting and select that, please. For study name, I'm just going to write Test because we are just testing this out. And don't worry about a project folder name for now. Click Create Study. In this next screen, we are going to give some information to the people that are potentially going to view this card sorting exercise. So um, down here in the purpose box, this is really just something you make up. So I'm going to make up we let's see, we are testing ideas for a large navigation system. Of course, if you were doing this for a real business, this would be a lot more technical, right? Okay. Down under participant requirements, you can see what they suggest. Hey, we need 30 participants who meet the following requirements. And that is fine. Um, yeah, between the ages of 30 and 60. That's very interesting. I'm laughing because I'm 53. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so the next part of this, so you were on this first tab under details. Now I want you to come over here to set up, please. By the way, it automatically, it automatically saves everything that you write in here. So this is good. This is where we're going to create our cards. And this is where the foodlist.txt is going to come in play. Now, let me show you the manual way first. So I could definitely come to this input area and I can type in my list, enchiladas. Oops, if I can spell enchiladas. And I hit enter and it's going to take me to the next one, tacos. Okay, but that's, that's a long way to do it. And sometimes you will receive a list of items that people want you to test. So let's just go get the list. And here, I'm just gonna select all, you know, by hitting Command A if you're on a Mac or Control A if you're on a PC. And then copy, hit Command C if you're on a Mac and Command, excuse me, Control C if you are on a PC. Before we paste this, I want to point out the way that this list is written. You'll notice that there's no comma in between each one of these, and there is also just one name per line. Each line creates a new card. Okay. Now, going back into the Optimal Workshop app, click on Import, please, here in the middle of the screen and you want to bulk import the cards. Okay, so down here, I am simply going to paste in all that information I copied from my food underscore list dot txt. So if you're on a Mac, hit Command V. If you're on a PC, hit Control V. 
and I'm going to get rid of that last blank entry. That looks good to me. And I'm going to click Import. And it's going to crunch for a second or two. And we'll just scroll down. And there it is. You see how easy that was? Oh, I love this so, so much. So maybe you'll get this list from your team members and you can just pop it right in there quickly and easily. I have an extra card label here that we don't really need. So let's go ahead and delete that at this time by clicking this trash can icon, please. Now, the next thing is we need to set up some categories. So click on the categories sub tab down here underneath setup. And this is where you're going to choose the kind of card sort you're going to do. So in the Linda, excuse me, the LinkedIn learning videos, you learned what these different types of sortings are. So we're going to apply that knowledge now. We are going to do a closed card sort, which means that the participants are going to sort the cards into categories that we create um, just by clicking on that. Now, there are four different categories that I want to have my participants work with. The first one is Mexican food. The second one is American food. The third one is Indian food. And the fourth one is Italian food. All right, just check your spelling and make sure that that looks good. Let me tell you, spelling really is important when you do these kinds of uh, user testing things. When you're done, I want you to come over to Messages and Instructions and click on that, please. All right, so I am going to edit my message. This is something that is shown to participants when they first arrive. So click Edit and I'm going to leave those first two lines. Your response will, I'm going to get rid of that. Those asterisks help us organize the navigation system. On our website and the rest of that is going to be just fine. If you feel like you want to skip this, you certainly can. You can skip the welcome message and you can skip the instructions. You can do this if, if somebody is working on these cards that has done an optimal sort before and they know how to, how to uh, navigate the application. That is just fine. So instructions are down here. And I think I'm just going to leave this as normal, but if you if you did want to change it, all you'd have to do is just click on edit and it would allow you to do that. There's a thank you message. Okay, that is just fine. All right, so let's go to the next one. Questionnaire. So whenever you send out a link, sometimes the link will be propagated to people you don't want it to get to. So you might have to have some kind of screening question to weed out people that aren't supposed to have that link. So let's do that. I'm going to add a screening question and let's do it by where you study. And we can do this by a radio button, a drop down, or a checkbox. And so, as you know from um, from your web studies, a radio button is like an either or. You can only choose one. A drop down select will, you know, it's basically a drop down. Checkboxes you would use if you wanted to be able to allow somebody to choose more than two, more than one answer. Excuse me. So let's choose the radio button. First option, let's type in hack because that's where you are. Second option, let's type in Penn State University. Third option, how about, oh, I don't know, Millersville University. Oh, let's 
speaking of typing, Millersville, <laughs> there it is, University. Okay, so on the right hand side, this is where they do the filtering. So if you drop on this, uh, excuse me, if you click this drop down, you've got three choices. They can go to another question, you can reject the applicant, or you can tell them to go directly to the study. Because this person studies at Hack, I'm going to tell them to go directly to the study because that's who we want to answer these questions. For Penn State University, I'm sorry, we're going to reject you. For Millersville, same thing, we are going to reject them. Okay, so if you need additional screening questions, you would just go down here and type that in. For settings, let's go to settings now. So this is the link that you can set out, send out excuse me, to people that you want to see it. You can add a password protection, which is excuse me, really nice. And if you want everybody to answer by a certain date, you can set the date down here under closing rule and set a participant li limit and that kind of thing. I'm going to leave these set to manual because we're just practicing. And as far as design is concerned, if you want to upload an image, you certainly can, or some kind of social media image, that's great. You can change colors, you can customize things. I'm gonna leave everything set to the default. Okay, so just for grins, I'm gonna click save, and let's preview the card sort. There we go. Second time is the charm. Can, uh, go ahead and click continue. So here are those questions we just set up. Where do you currently study? I'm gonna say hack because I know I want to go on. Here are the instructions. And then here are the different items that we can do. So let's just drag and drop a few just to test out the interface. Tiramisu. Well, I know that that is an Italian food, so I'm going to drop that guy there. Baked beans. Oh, definitely American. Hamburgers. American. Apple pie. American. Lasagna. Ooh, that's Italian. Yeah, Italian. Rogan Yosh. That is Indian. Risotto. That is Italian. Potato salad. We're going to call that American. Quesadillas, Mexican. And I think you get the point, right? So I am going to click finished. Oh, and it said, hey, you didn't answer all the questions. Oh, so oh, okay, let's go back and let's finish this puppy up. Enchiladas are Mexican. Tandoori is Indian. Naan is Indian. Pizza, believe it or not, is Italian. Tikka masala is Indian. Hot dogs are American. Burritos are Mexican. Now, I can see that all of the items on the left-hand side have been moved into a category. Let's click finished. Okay. No data will be saved. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of this. And that's, it's really that easy. So that was just the preview. 